Live of Kit 5.1. This update is primarily stability update. A lot of crashes and problems are solved in this version. And there are also a couple new tweaks on tools and small updates. Interactive base mode option. A base mode option is in uh, many LiveFKit tools. In a rectangle, it is uh, center corner rotate mode. In a circle, it is uh, radius diameter three point elliptic. In arc to three point tangent angle. And uh, from these three basic tools, rectangle, circle, and arc, we have also similar tools such as box, which is similar with rectangle, also have center corner rotate, then rectangle roof, rectangle stair, rectangle UV, from circle we have similar cylinder, and so on. In the previous version, uh, base mode was not interactive. For example, in rectangle tool, when you created corner mode rectangle and uh, you switch to rotate mode, tool is reset, and you have to create tool again from the beginning with new base mode but the latest version is fully interactive so when you create rectangle with corner mode now you can switch to rotate and rotate the tool you can switch to center adjust it as a center and you keep rotation you can create another rectangle tool and rotation is still remembered from previous stage. You can switch to corner again to rotate and, this, uh, and change rotation. So this is much more powerful than previous version because you can combine all these base modes in, in a single creation phase. Same for circle tool, so you can create radius mode and switch to diameter adjust this as a diameter circle then switch to elliptic and change change circle to elliptic also arc you can create arc in three points then switch to tangent mode and adjust the end tangents or switch to angle mode and adjust the angle This new uh, interactive mode is working in all similar tools which are based on a uh, rectangle, circle and arc tool. Next update is with a vector clone and move snap tool. There is a little change uh, with handles. First handle is now a pivot handle, so you're moving all tool. And the second handle is uh, direction handle so you are adjusting direction from pivot handle same for uh, move snap so you have pivot and direction handle there is also a new option in vector clone source pivot x and y uh, with this you can change offset of object depend on pivot handle Another little difference in behavior is in angle tool and similar similar with angle tool is rotate snap tool and from these two uh, little difference is that uh, first starting handle the line to the pivot is solid and end angle handle line to the pivot is dashed so you can distinguish them more easily and now when you moving start handle the angle is not changing and uh, the end, end handle is moving together with start handle. Next new feature is spring and spiral mode in arc tool. In arc tool, when you change the depth, you're creating spring object automatically. So I will add more angle the arc so you can see this spring object and you can combine this spring object together with spiral mode also so just enable spiral and you have now 3d 
spiral spring up down you can also change the end radius of spiral so let's say 50 percent and now when you disable depth you will get only simple spiral Spiral mode is enabled also in radio call tool. So when you enable spiral mode, you can change uh, uh, end radius of spiraling and also scaling along the spiral. This tool has also depth as previously. Next updated tool is Ari Clone. In Ari Clone, we have new rotate handle. With this rotate handle, we can rotate direction of cloning. And the tool has also two new options for disabling uh, handles and buttons so you can disable buttons and handles and you will be left only with pivot handle next little update is with grid mode in a snap panel we reverted back to three modes so grid is disabled in this case there is no snap to grid when you switch grid to light wave, then each light wave kit tool is snapping to grid defined by a light wave. So in a display option units here are light wave options of uh, grid snapping. And when we enable UCS grid, the, every light wave kit tool is snapping to grid defined by value on UCS plane. In this case one meter grid snap next big update is a complete rewrite of fence tool this is original version of fence tool uh, the original version is using complicated uh, preset system which not too many users understand how this really works so we decided to cut this and uh, revert back into original simple idea of a fence tool. And this is a new version of fence tool based on original idea. So we are using directly fence object from shape library column object, no presets with lists. And when you draw fence, you can enable enable disable fence or columns so we can have only fences only columns or bolt and limitation of this is that you can have only one type of fence and one type of column at the moment but because we were using instances after you drop the tool you can use instance manager and change some parts of the uh, fence to different in instant manager so here i will use this type of fence and uh, this is much more flexible way how to how to create fence object but this is not all new version of fence tool has additional open jaw buttons with start button you can enable disable first column with end button you can enable disable last uh, column with tangent button you can adjust orientation of first and last column and how to use these open jaw buttons very easy if you want to create a more complex or um, uh, more complex uh, networks of fences you can very easily disable start or end column and connect another branch of fence to existing fence object and you can draw 
this complex network of fences uh, very quickly by that way. So now you can use tangent to adjust and continue with another fence branch from this side, from this side. So as you can see, this is way much more flexible tool than previous version. And finally, last update. Uh, last update is in round two. In round two, we have a new geometry type option, so you can directly freeze rounded parts into polygons or keep them as an herbs. And previous version of round two was not able to create rounds on an herbs surfaces which are closed. New version already know how to create the round on this. Finally, I want to inform you about the next update, 5.2, which will go three, maximum four months after this uh, update. And for the next update, we are planning to improve significantly all edit operations which are working uh, with uh, NURPS uh, surfaces and NURPS objects. So you will be able to create more complex structures of NURPS surfaces. Thank you for watching this video.